when I founded the Institute initially for the study of Jewish-Christian relations, a lot of people said, well, what do we need that for? But very soon the world changed and there was a realization that to understand somebody else helped you understand yourself. When we added the encounter with Islam, it suddenly grew to a point that we realized this was way beyond one particular relationship between two faith communities. This was something that affected all of us of any faith and of none. Essentially, it came out of the study of theology, but in the last five or six years, it's developed into a multidisciplinary study of relations. I feel especially proud to be working at the Wolf Institute because I am in a unique position where I am able to engage with a series of different audiences, all of whom have key, crucial decisions to make in their day-to-day -day life professionally. And those decisions directly impact on the lives of other people, people like you and I. Our work actually creates that bridge between theory and practice, and something that is really quite necessary, not just in British society, but beyond our own borders too. For me as an American, it's not so much for me about British values as it is about how in an increasingly diverse society people can come together and express what they believe in without offending others, in a, but in, in more than that, in a comfortable and collaborative and cooperative manner. We have various students attending, we have staff members, we have sometimes also interested public. I think students are attracted to the Wolf Institute because we're not only academia, we don't, we don't only engage in academic work, we're also having a, a practical outlet. We're working in public education, we have very good contacts to various NGOs, to government offices. Um, so people really feel that they are at the centre of interfaith relations here. Well, the important thing about the Wolf Institute is that it is not only concerned in a broad sense to help community relations, it actually does that with significant academic underpinnings. And that, I think, helps each of the communities to understand one another better. Having confidence in the relationship between different faiths is what is needed more than anything else, in my view, to bring the world to a much more sensible situation than it has been of late. Right now I often feel that we don't have a clear picture. We're going on anecdotals. Let's develop that research base and I think the Wolf Institute and, and others are very well placed to, to, to do that work in collaboration and in honest partnership with a whole range of, uh, of actors. Religious views and spirituality tend to grow and is growing around the world. And I think it is important that we have in this country a conversation not about the demise of religion and demise of faith, but about how in a rather increasingly plural society uh, we get along together. We see religion being portrayed in a certain way and trying to fit into a certain way of being. That needs to change and one of the ways that that can change is by having this sort of hearing taking place, having the dialogue take place and learning what's the best that we can take from one religion or another. When you come out of your uh, religious group, whether it's a synagogue or a church or a mosque or a gurdwara, just look over the wall and see the groups on the other side and listen to what they have to say. There are a number of areas that I feel the Wolf Institute makes a contribution to. One is religion and foreign policy training. Up until three or four years ago, the Foreign Office didn't do training on religion. But of course, 88% of the world identify themselves as religious. So how can you pursue a foreign policy without understanding uh, the concept of religion in most of the world? The work of the Wolf Institute is at the centre of all of the key issues and the key challenges facing modern society. There are ever increasing numbers of people in the world. We, we have to come across other faiths, other ethnicities, and we have to be able to learn to live together and to work together. And actually the ability to do that in a tolerant, respectful and collective manner is hugely important. And more than that, actually it's humane. Well, I suppose when I founded the Wolf Institute and there were just a couple of people working out of a, a tiny office, now we have 14 or 15 staff, we have courses around the world, 
Uh, two years ago, I had a student in Amman, Jordan, one in Gaza, one in Jerusalem, working together on a course on Muslim-Jewish relations. So it was very exciting, it was transformative. And it's that, that effort to try and move one step closer, to try and improve things, to do your bit. Uh, that's what motivates me personally. Thank you.